And so we've got the marketing piece created for you to go after the expireds from a previous years. If you want to look at this and how big of advantage you can take of this, let's just look at the sold listings real quick. So I've got the list of all the expireds since 2010 that have not been um, relisted, um, sold, or under contract currently. So they are still sitting out there and uh, most likely still want to sell their home. So attached is that list. You can sort it by every column. So you can sort it by city, you can sort it by price, you can sort it by the date that it expired. Every one of those is sitting out there for you to contact and nobody's contacting them right now. So if we look at our sold listings, um, back in 2010, 1,052 sold through, through August. And then we go to 2013, we're at 1433. So 400 more homes sold than 2010, um, 300 versus 2011, and then uh, looks like about 100 since 2012. So I've got 2012 ones in there as well, and 2011. The average sale price is up. So again, great news to be able to give these people a very simple conversation of letting them know what's going on in the market and if they're still looking at listing their home. And then you also talk about the average days on the market. Back then, 2011, they were at 145. We're down to 83 days on the market. And our new listings um, are about the same. They haven't fluctuated too much since 2011. And then we've also got the inventory for you to talk to. So if you're talking to somebody that listed in 2010, they have twice, more than two times as many homes on the market at the time that they tried to sell than we do right now. So we have half the inventory prices are up sales are up days on the market are down there's no better time for them to look at possibly relisting their home and nobody's communicating to these sellers these are cherry picked um expired listings for you guys to go after and then we also have data that goes back to january of 2007 so you can communicate to any one of those um clients that you have so the sheet that's also attached here again you can sort it by the listing number Let's say you just want it to go off after Rochester, Minnesota, click Postal City, deselect all, go down to just Rochester. And once we click on Rochester, now we've only got Rochester homes, and then we can sort it by price. It's so largest to smallest. So now I've got the highest homes up here. I can also export. Um, change it by status change date so i can also um, sort it by oldest to newest however you want to do it you can sort and it also shows all the other information in here as well as, as you scroll to the right so you can cherry pick these you've got the marketing material you can send it out as a flyer if you don't want to call them um, i highly recommend calling them it's a very easy conversation to have with those sellers